Hello, Americans. And other friends, subscribers around the world. Back here, man. Today. I'm pretty dang excited. I'm going to see if I can get this label off. I don't know if you can see that box, but it's forged axe, bushcraft, and then it's got a picture of an axe. But then this box opens up a uh, beaver craft, bushcraft hatchet axe. So anyway, let's check it out. Let's see, man, I don't want to. Definitely don't want to ruin this box, man. See how this thing. Pretty dang nifty. Pretty dang nifty. Alright, so let's see. Woo! Look at that, man. Little holder for it. Beaver craft. Ooh, dang, man. Look at that thing. Look at that. Man, it's got a nice leather cover. Woo, doggy. Look at that. Yeah. Dang, man. Look at that. That thing is nice. It's a little, man, a little stubby thing. I like it. I like it, I like it. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a whirl here. Sharp, dude. Sharp, sharp. Pretty rotten. Pretty rotten log. To, you know, I can do these little tests on this log, man. Look at, wow. You know, stick it in. Stick it in. Oh, well, here's the toe. Yeah, he can do all that stuff. But I think we need to take her on out. I'm in the process of getting some wood. So, uh,. I think we uh, need to go, you know, really put that to the test. Look how stubby that is. That, that might be the shortest handle I have on a, on a hatchet. Yeah, man, that thing is awesome. All right, man, nice uh, scabbard or holder loop, leather loop, man. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Comfy, man, the handle's not too long. And uh, so we'll try out a few things and see how this baby works. Oh, that's pretty rotten too. Trying to find some. Uh, I'm pretty, uh, down here in the thickets, man. Let me check it out. Hold it, old hollow. Hollow dog. Over here. See, so we're going through some. Uh... Yeah, man. You seem like a. Kind of like a machete, man, if you're going through the thickets. Machete, look at that, man. A little squirrel. Squirrel cache. Oh, log. And it chops them uh, branches off them. Fur tree's pretty good. That uh, short handles. Uh, a little different for me, but I'm gonna check for pitch, man. Then I had a 
like I said, that short handle, I haven't hit the, the one thing, man, with the blade down like it is, you're not going to hit the handle there. Man, I've never, feels pretty good in your hand. I really like it for, you know, if you're chopping or cutting your way into somewhere, kind of like a machete. You know, and then uh, the way, man, you can hold it. Man, probably using it like a, you know, for carving and stuff. And that's the company. I just checked out their website when, you know, when they sent me a deal to try out one of their pieces or their axes. And, man, they have a bunch of carving tools and all kinds of stuff, you know. And I used to make carving tools, but... They uh, they have a bunch of carving tools and stuff. Looked real like a pretty dang good company to check out. And it's hand forged. Whoops, man, the sun ain't helping them. Hand forged. Yeah. I'm pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it. So we'll try out a few other things. Like I said, the getting used to. I didn't expect it to be as short as it is, so just getting used to the, you know, I have a lot of hatchets, and uh, a lot, and that is definitely the shortest, shortest one I've got, but, you know, I ain't trying to be a lumberjack out here with it, but I think more, uh, you know, woodcraft or bushcraft type stuff. And handy mother man, it's definitely something I'll be using to carry. So this is that I started doing it, the beaver craft. This uh I don't know if you can see how this uh All this kindling I got, and you know I was gonna do uh, I was gonna do more up the mountain, and then uh, I thought, dude, I'll just use some, try some kindling, and up the, up the mountain uh, that uh, you know the stuff that I do on the mountain and the wood chopping and all that. I was thinking, man, this this uh. You know, it's because the handle's so short. You know, and I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of hatchets, you know, and the handle's a little bit longer. But, uh, man, for, uh, carving or, you know, making steaks and, um, man, if you're doing a shelter, you know, for little stuff, especially getting your hand in there like this, this thing is just amazing for that, for this kind of stuff. You know, which they do, uh, the company actually makes uh, wood carving knives and knives and, you know, they got some longer axes and everything. And man, it holds the edge just great. But uh, I'll tell you what, for, you know, for putting in your, you know, you can wear it. I ain't got the holster on right now. I'm sitting in on my desk. But, uh, you know, it's got the great cover. It's got the nice logo and everything. But this, uh, dude, I like it, man. It's, uh, it's pretty dang cool. At first, like I said, at first, you know, the things I was doing, that I was using, you know, that I use an axe for, and most of the time I use a full size axe. But, man, especially the way that you can get your hand up underneath this, you know, as a tool, man, you can shave, you know, hew, do whatever whatever you want with it man this thing is I'll use the heck out of this thing and then the size of it for your bug out bag or your backpack you know you could actually stick this thing in it instead of sticking it on the side of the pack or just carry it on your side man I carried it on my side that whole day that I was up there and man it was pretty dang pretty handy and it was great for you know for knocking uh well that's a hard log 
Um, oh no. <laughs> but uh, it was great for, you know, knocking branches and all that kind of stuff off. But, man, for it, man, you could clean a, you could clean fish across with this thing. I mean, this thing is, uh, I don't really have nothing to, you know, and that's factory sharp. I didn't, I didn't sharpen it at all, man. And I have chopped the crap. I don't know if you'd seen all the, if I did a picture or a scan of all the kindling that I got piled up here that I just did. And that I've been playing around with it a lot on the, um, this kind of stuff, man. Look at the shaving. I guess you can't really see all that. Just amazing. So let's see. I brought out a tape measure so we could see the overall, gosh, little, the overall length of it. Overall length of this, that's from the, the handle and it's sticking up out of the tip a little bit. It's 11 and a half inches. The head is five and a half inches long with a three and a half inch bit. Man, that is, uh, dude, I like it, man. I like it a lot. So for, um, for my hunting pack, for my bug out pack, you know, backpack camping, it's definitely, uh, definitely pretty cool. They have some longer ones, man. I'd like to try a long full size ax is what I, you know, that's, that's probably what I use the most of. But, dude, I'll definitely be using this, man. And more so, you know, obviously, man, you can, you know, you can drive your stakes or whatever, you know. Do whatever you need to do with it, you know, with the hammer side that. I'll, man, I'll use this. <laughs> use this thing. It's definitely a woodsman, a woodsman's pal, man. I like it a lot. And uh, at first I was taken back at just how short it was. But... Dude, it's pretty uh, pretty compact and nice, man. So check that out, man. Beavercraft tools. They've, like I said, they've got man a lot of a uh, lot of carving and that kind of tools. And they're actually their their carving knives um, are a lot like the ones that I used to make, man. It's been a while since I made them, but a lot like the ones I used to make. Dude, I like it a lot. I like it, man. So thank you very much for this opportunity. Oh, this thing, I think this one sells for, it's called, I think it's called the Longbeard or something. I think this one sells for 75 bucks. And they're made in Ukraine, I just found out. So that, uh, what you know, if you want just American-made stuff, you know, and everybody's opinion about Ukraine and all that kind of crap. But, hey, man. American made probably be 150 bucks, but which I got a lot of them too. <laughs> but I like it, man. So thank you very much for this opportunity and check that thing out. Good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.